All right, I'm just gonna wrap up on this uh, really long AFK session at the Karas. Look at this, one mil in AUX. Wow, and I got 700 secondaries, so that's amazing. Honestly, I'm spending a lot more time at the Karas due to my assessed need for AFK than I am at Kelfi Queen, unfortunately. But it's okay; both you know works out pretty nice for the Nine Nine Herbal grind. So that's awesome. Look at that. 2k lint wards, almost 2k white berries, so that's 4k secondaries, so probably like 500k herb xp that I can get out of this as well, on top of, you know, the secondaries from the Kelpha Queen, so just don't wanna, it's a heal. Alright, first we have the day, oh my god, we got a drop, guys. Holy fucking shit, guys. Yo, I'm so glad that I did this right, even, even though I am tired as fuck. Alright, this time, I'm gonna make it a habit to open the chest instead of the chat, okay? This is the first raid, guys. Alright, like, 40 minutes into the stream or some shit. Oh my god. You guys ready for this? Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh man. Damn, dude, we, we hit the rarest table again. Wow, another Elder Maul. Hey, way better than a Throne Axe though, but, you know, okay. Yo, guys, I have two Kodai Wands. I have two Elder Mauls now. But zero Twisted Bows. What's up with that? What is up with that, guys? I just did a hella load of super attack making, so I gained 285,000 experience while I was a uh, half-ass playing this game into Herbal. That's great. So about 2,000 more, hopefully I can finish it sometime during this weekend and I'll have the first herbal level of the 99 herbal gold. Oh yes, an elite clue scroll. That's what I'm talking about. I haven't gotten an elite clue scroll in quite a while and I have all the clues ready besides the elite clue on Watson so I can turn this one in for a master. So. You and your stats are constantly being drained. Oh shit, elite clue scroll. Alright, just wrapped up on another two hour Kelfi Queen session. And uh, let's see how my supplies are looking. Nice, nice. 300 wines gained and about 400 cactus gained in those two hours, so. That's hell a lot of XP. Ooh, damn, okay. Well, three elite clues today. Alright, let's check this out, man. I haven't gotten anything like amazing from elite clues in ages, so. Maybe a ornament kit or something, that would be so lit. Oh, okay, maybe not. Yep. Alright, here we go. About goddamn time. My first herbal level for the 99 herbal goal starts. And only got three more to go, but yes, the next level is 1 million. Over 1 million experience to go. Well, luckily for me, it shouldn't uh, be too, too hard to get the next level because I have uh, most of the secondaries in terms of XP, you know, ready. So for Eretz, which is super easy to do, I have about 600k experience left in that. So that'll bring me to about 400k to go from there. And of course, I got tons of white berries, limber roots in the thousands, along with the potato cactus and wines of zamis. And that should be able to get me the remaining 400k XP for 497, so. So I realized I was really low on charges and uh, I decided to make 500 recoils out of my tons of sapphires. So I put that into my suffering ring just now. So now I have about 21,000 charges. Been using this ring of suffering a lot at Corporal Beast and actually Kelfi Queen. This ring is pretty much best in slot at Kelfi Queen just because of the recoil damage adding up so much more than any of my rings can do at Kelfi Queen. So it's actually really useful there. But 21,000 charges should last quite a long time. Holy shit, I just remember 96 was the level that you can make overloads. Way back in the day, I remember making tons of like super attacks and then the extreme attacks. Kind of similar, I'm just grinding out so many super attacks right now, dude. I still got another 5.6k, so like once I finish all of these, I'll have over 10,000 super attacks just sitting there in my bank and. Just like before, it's just gonna be there because I'm not gonna be able to use them all up. There's no way in hell. 
Oh, yes. Magic thing. Thank you, man. I am running really, really low on scale, so I will take that. Oh, wow. Elite Clue Scroll. Okay. Damn, dude. That's four Elite Clue Scrolls in two days. What the heck? Okay. I decided to work on a Master as well because the Elite can give me another chance for a Master, but I already had a Master in my bank, so I want to make sure I have this open. Then I'll have another chance and another Master, so... First things first, opening up this master. Here we go. Okay, no, not bad. I mean, you know, lots of alcables. Okay, let's check out this elite clue now. Here we go. Oh man, dude, yo, elite clues never give me like ornament kits. Not the worst. Not the worst rewards I've gotten from elite clues. Felt like doing a second master clue. I'm gonna be empty out of all the clues now. So, oh, or not? Okay. Three dragon long swords though. I didn't even know that was possible to get three of those. Yeah, boy. I was about to turn in this hard clue to Watson. And I see that Lictic. And guess what? A medium clue from that. I'm gonna turn both of these in then. I love these little moments, you know? It just works out. Like, beautiful. Oh, nice. I reached 600 KC. The kill before this. Awesome. Looks like I will be probably getting to around 1,000... Kill fight queen kills for 99 or below, probably. You should, on average, get about... Oh, dragon chain body. Alright, cool. That's my first D chain ever since coming back to kill fight queen for this grind. So, I got one sword, one D chain. I'm gonna keep track of it, you know, see how many I get. Don't be tilted, bro. Ah, I can't say that, you know, you already tilted, so... Me saying that... Oh, dragon two-hander! Holy shit, dude. That's lit, man. Honestly, like, these drops are just kind of cool, you know? They just give me a little smile, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, that's number two so far. Holy shit, Dragon Two-Handers are twice as rare as D-Chains. That's right. Well, that's cool. Another D-Chain! What? Holy shit. That's crazy, dude. Wow. Okay, let me see if I can still see the other D-Chain from... A bit ago. Yeah, I can. 611 was the D chain. 619 was the second D chain. Ooh! Calfly Queen, best moneymaker in the entire game? Maybe. Don't tell anybody though. Just did another really, really uh, nice two hour. Super notable drops, you know, the dragon two handers, two D chains, but of course, gotta check out the updated secondaries. Oh my god, I can't believe they're actually evening out like that. Closing in on 2k of each. I would say that's over 500k XP right there just from that, so. Oh my god, I got a drop! Oh my god, it's a drop on the last raid. Please, please be something. Be oh, something. Please. That is not a Dragon Throne X, please. Or for that matter, something new, something unique, please. Just gotta go photo. Yo, dude. Oh my god, every time so far I've done this, it just hasn't been good. Oh my god, my heart is pumping. Holy shit. Alright, alright, just breathe boys, just breathe. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh damn, arcane prayer scroll? Damn, bro. Oh man, I really thought that was it, but... It was not. It was an arcane prayer scroll. Nice, the cannon killed it for me. T Y. Oh yes, Rune Ores. I am running low on them darts. Thank you for two hundred darts. It's fortunate enough to be able to do that in the summer. All right, last kill. Onyx Pulse. Thank you, thank you, man. I thought I was gonna have an uneventful two hours, but I am very pleased. Thank you. All right, slowly getting there to seven hundred KC. So, this is going to be the last time I try to predict when the Gargoyle boss is coming out because Jagex is giving us another date for this boss. And they said it is due for release by the end of October. And if it doesn't come out by the end of October, I, I might just like forget that this boss is even coming out, honestly. I'm sorry, I kind of hyped it up pretty early because honestly, they did hype it up pretty early and unfortunately it didn't come out for so long so 
really, by the end of October, we'll definitely have some Gargoyle content, boss, in whichever video that it'll fall upon, so. So, I want to spend a minute or two to clear up some misconceptions about, like, my raids progress. So, the first thing is, the raids progress chart that I show on the video, a lot of people think that I'm recording items that I have seen, but actually, that's not true. I'm only recording items that I have gotten myself. So all you see on that chart is all that I have gotten myself. So I want to clear up a very common misconception about raids and how like the drops and stuff work. Because a lot of people just think that doing an X amount of number of raids will like determine your average drops. But that is absolutely not true. It has nothing to do with how many raids you've done. But it only has to do with how many points you get on average per raid. And in general, your overall lifetime amount of points that you've accumulated from all your raids. Points required to access the rare table from raids, you know, where like the Twisted Bows, the Bucklers, the Dragon Swords, the Deck Scrolls, and all that is, is about 712,500 points, give or take. So that means, for example, me, if I am getting about 30,000 points of raid on average, since I do my souls, I can do get that much, it'll take me about 24 of those raids. So if you're someone that's getting like 15,000 points of raid on average, that means you're gonna need to do about 48 of those raids or 49 of those raids to equal that 712,500. Now that we're all on the same page, so let's relate this back to my grind to get the Twisted Bow and hopefully get all the raids items. So the average points required to get all of the raids drops is about 30 million points. So since I'm getting about 30,000 points of raid, it means I need to do 1,000 of those raids in order you know, to get all the drops. And of course, I have about 1,200 raids done. So that means sometime in the past, I did reach 30 million cumulative points and I've exceeded that now for sure. So in terms of you know getting uniques, I'm definitely past the average now. So even if I get the Twisted Bow tonight, tomorrow, a month from now, it'll never be you know considered statistically lucky. So that is, uh, I guess, fair. I mean, this is the ultimate grind for me at this point. There's no other grind that you know, will ever beat this in terms of time, effort, and you know, pretty much anything in between in terms of difficulty. So I cannot wait to finish this. I've been grinding this for like over half a year now, I think. And anyways, here's the stats. I plan to uh, get 97 Herbal, hopefully in the next episode, maybe get a Herbal level uh, video. So, you know, in a few videos, I'll have the 99 Herbal. So we're working on that pretty uh, consistently too as well, so. Anyways, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're new to uh, keep up to date. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care.